Yo, 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 what's happening guys? Matt vs. Melon here, how are we all today? We're about another video, we're currently in LA right now, looking through the map, exciting times, just got back from work, gonna jump on, a lot to talk about, it's just been really good, really good fun, but really busy, uh, work's really busy at the moment, had a few meetings today with clients, so that's going really well, uh, working tomorrow and then Friday, and then we're on holiday for like the week, nine days or something like that, so we're going to jump on, like really going to Blender, learning more details as well, and that's what I think is fun as well, because we're learning this from start to finish as well, like the whole process, uh, so hopefully a lot of players can follow along with it as well, and then with the Upland content as well, if you go back on all the videos, we've basically started documenting the process when we put our first $1,500 into the game, probably about 18 months ago now, all the way up to where we're filming now, and yeah, nominated for Broadcaster of the Year as well, so how times have just like kind of evolved, like thank you so much to everybody what supported the channel, like I would not be anywhere if it wasn't for you guys what watch, support, constantly like message, constantly like driving the channel, so really do appreciate every one of you like legends, complete legends for supporting this and the brand in general, like so X1 message the other day and that and like it was just feel like really blessed as well, this community has added a lot of value to my life, like is not financially, like just in like kind of like the friendships, the community, the, the time spent on it as well. So everything's just really, really positive of Upland and a lot of stuff happening right now. We're going to jump on, we're going to talk about Blender, how we're going with that, 3D assets, also the factory and the showroom in Granada Hills and how all that's going to work together to start producing and selling assets off in the game of Upland. We're also going to go into Granada Hills, talk about the floor and also like kind of just the neighbourhood in general, what we have plans for it going forward. And then we're also going to talk talk about like tycoon and all the other good stuff as well so yeah thank you so much for all the support click that subscribe button if you're not already and let's get into the video so i'll jump into blender at the start we'll just go over to here i've actually got the files saved though so to upload to upland you need fa three files so you need where is it an lod2 an lod1 and an lod0 lod0 is the one i was working on last night so this has got 3648 triangles so basically there's three different qualities and i believe that's when you look on the map of upland so like this when you see the map of the upland like right now we'll kind of show you uh, so if we go into granada hills i've got some wells on the factory so i believe that will be like an lod2 then like lod2 and then that will be like where like that will probably be the lod1 like to there and then this will probably be like that all the way up to like here will probably be like the LOD zero kind of thing so when the quality gets better obviously it zooms in further so it doesn't take as long for the game of Upland to render so there's so much to learn and like how it works and the detail and the process of it but yeah we're starting to understand the modeling side of it we're starting to understand how it all works together uh, how you can like uh, do bezels how you can do inverts how you can extrude uh, all the different stuff you can actually do on the blender it's actually amazing how this is for free and one of the biggest things i learned is if you hold the tap button the tab button sorry you can actually move the design about so if you wanted to like go into the roof or if you wanted to move underneath or you could just like move about in the 3d space so yeah that was the biggest thing what was annoying me last night so simple simple thing but like that was the one big thing that we couldn't move like that we could only move like this so yeah we learned that we learn how to add different meshes and like we can even click z uh, you can go into the wireframe so this is a wireframe of the actual design uh, so you can see here and then you've not seen much detail of it right now but if we go back to a solid and then we actually go over to the layout you can actually see with um We've UV unwrapped some textures to the actual model now so we've added these textures on so if we go over to the shading uh, you can see here we've got weather planks so these are the planks we've added to the the wood and then we've changed the direction of them so if you basically move that around you can see so if we've done like 180 you can see how it changes around so we'll keep that back at 90 but it just changes like the wood effect on it and then we've also got like the water effect as well so if we go to slot 2 uh, you can see this is a water effect as well um, roughness has always got to be one uh, for upland so we've made sure the roughness is one but then the problem we have is when we go over to the bake inside of stuff so if you actually look in uv edit in here so we'll go back to the whole asset so one second we'll actually go modeling if you just click a it holds the whole asset and then that'll bring the whole asset over 
so you can see it on here but I want to actually so we'll go new actually so image um, where is it new and then the image has got to be 1024 pixels by 1024 pixels which is a 1k basically 1k image and then now you can actually see these are basically all the different things that are going to get baked and this is where we have the problem when we go to bake it it comes out really dark so Slav's actually like replied to one of the tweets and is going to like um, show that basically. So I'm going to have a look at that and try and work out how to bake uh, these assets just because I can see like they're not baking properly. So it's going to obviously cause problems if I upload it to the, the game. Like we've not even applied for the factory yet. So we're still like we've got like time to actually carry on practicing. And yeah, we've got so much to learn. I'm literally like brand new to this, but yeah i don't know it's like for me i turned blender off and like i went away from it a few months ago but something clicked the last few days and then we just kind of like stuck it like probably the last 48 hours we've just constantly uh just been on blender trying to like learn it trying to like see how far we can actually get with it and then what you have to do is so you've got your negative image so this one's um over here so what we'll do is image so this image is save as and then we'll go over to the fountain lot and now if we go over back to, where is it, uh, shading, and now in shading, all I need to do is go out the widescreen, go into Finder, find that texture, uh, where is it, this one here, and add this one, and then if we go to slot 2, and then we have to add this slot into slot 2 as well, and now if we select it, make sure it's selected, make sure the other one's selected um, and now we can actually go over to I go to layout to do this click A to click all and then if we actually go I think it's no it's not it's a, if you go over here and then to render engine make sure this is changed over to cycles and then in cycles where is it max samples noise threshold we need to go over to the bake and then in the bake this needs to be six and now yeah if we click the bake button you can see it's texture baking so this process we've started to like understand and now we're not getting error messages which was cool and now if i go back to the uv edit in i think is it no nah, it's not done anything so yeah this is where we're having the issues with the actual baking and all the other stuff so yeah it'd be cool if this actually went over but it's just like yeah we will pick it up and like that's the process so i'd rather show kind of like where we're like learning and where we're struggling as well because like it's completely like natural to like take time to learn this stuff you know what i mean there's a lot going on so yeah once we learn to bake this then we can actually start to do that with our three files and then it's like we're back into business so yeah everything's starting to work really cool so looking forward to getting these on the shops and the showrooms so yeah this will be really cool to see um, i'm really excited so everybody what's actually helped and with some knowledge about blender like thank you uh, all these videos on youtube as well it's just been like i wouldn't have been able to uh, learn any of this it's so cool nowadays you can actually like learn off youtube and other stuff how to actually grow and build so yeah, you'll start to see Metaverse Melon rolling out some assets hopefully in the next couple of months. And yeah, so exciting times with that. And then we'll apply for the factory and also get the showroom online as well. So yeah, hopefully do that over the week. I'm on holiday next week. And then, yeah, we're giving away an apartment as well, which is pretty cool. So if we go over to a five spark over here, we've got the racetrack, which is about 30 days out. I think it's just a bit over 30 days, so 31 days, 22 hours. This is everybody what's actually helping with the racetrack right now. So if your name's on this list, you will get put into the wheel when that structure is complete. And then we'll spin the wheel and then whoever wins gets an apartment with six tycoon node slots on it. Two lumber, two ore and two energy as well. So uh, yeah, that's really good. Jump on the competition if you want to win a apartment with some nodes on it. So yeah, that's really cool. Giving that away as well. If we jump on to, we'll show the account actually. We've just gone over 11 million as well, which is cool to see. Uh, we've got 13,000 in the bank, and then we've also been basically just selling our resources in Tycoon. Like Layer 3's took, I thought Layer 3 would be out a lot quicker than it has done, so I just see so many resources piling on the market now. Like I could be completely wrong, but I just don't think it's going to get that kick that 
I really thought it would when I invested and put all that money in, which is not a bad thing. We've got 93 lumber mills, 93 ores, uh, 92 ores, sorry, and 115 windmills. And like I love Stosh and the game and what they're creating, and I'm really excited for Layer 3. But as an investment side of stuff, like I think there's better ways now than... Like, at the start, this was really promising and positive. And some of the prices, we were getting like 20, 22k a day off about 40, 50 nodes. So, yeah, like times was really good. And I think that's just kind of set up the faults. Kind of um, like this is going to make loads of money forever, you know what I mean? It's like, why am I putting into this when you can get four times as much out of this? And now it's kind of just like gone back down to where the prices are. So, but yeah, it's good for new players to get in as well. Everyone can access the Layer 3 game as well. So, yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff, new games coming in as well. Apparently, they're doing this like game companies doing something as well on Layer 2. But it's like one of those like kind of shooting space games and that's so not really what we are looking for but like it's good positive like that other kind of game companies are coming into upland and stuff and yeah hopefully there's some like different ones coming in in the future as well so yeah this will be exciting to see how it all goes and with sparklet tying in and hopefully like kind of some news around genesis week with a sparklet and when the next day drops are and stuff like that as well because yeah we're basically growing on our twitter account as well if you can see uh, we're coming up to seven and a half thousand followers so what we're going to do is try and push that up as well to try and get we got 11x multiplier last time hopefully we can get like the 12x multiplier and then we should be we got 0 0.75 0 0.75 spark last time which was really cool uh, so yeah hopefully we can like hit the same or a little bit more uh, which would be so cool to see uh, this is one thing we're really like kind of short on a lacking is our spark in the game uh, but yeah we'll try and see where the airdrops go as well and then we'll put our dollars into upland at the end of the month i'll have my extra hours and stuff as well so yeah it's exciting everything's starting to come together nicely and just this uh, nomination as well as just like the icing on the top so thank you so much for that we're gonna like stick at blender as well we're gonna like really drive and practice and practice and practice um, and yeah learn it and like make mistakes and just grow on it i'm gonna like to show the whole process as well so yeah click that subscribe button if you're not already if you enjoy the content um yeah love to see you on this channel love to see all the support and just love to see everyone else like growing and building and just like having fun and just making businesses and making waves in the upland community things are going so well and like i always say on this channel like it's a five ten year process i'm just excited to see what happens in like 2030 you know this will just be so much fun it's a game but yeah all the tweaks we're doing we're looking at it as an investment and we really do see the the growth in the game and other stuff as well especially with the market we're going to jump into this as well like we spoke about at the start of the video 284,591 unminted properties so that's going down nicely and you can see los angeles is down to 127,207 uh, so there yeah, that's going down nicely as well and then if we look at granada hills uh, granada hills right now is sitting at 1812 unminted so yeah, we're going to try and get as many more, well, more properties. We're going to try and get over, I think we've got 500 or 480 right now. So we're going to try and get up to probably, we might have some fun and really push it right now and try and get up to like six, 700, you know. Uh, look at the secondary market and other stuff as well over the next couple of months. You know, on payday, we'll do some more big videos. The last one I've done the $220 into collection properties, what was very valuable, I believe. Like, you know, I earn about... Well, I got a lot of those profits between 30 and 40 percent, but some of those boosts was like 1.89x, 1.92x, or something like that. So, yeah, we ended up getting the value on the properties, but then we also got the boost on them as well. So, yeah, that brought in about six to seven thousand upex every single month, so about 84,000 upex a year just off using that strategy, and it was just like a t bonus. Like if you get the dollar properties for the low markups and dollars, it's great. But then if just adding the collection boost and the bonus up X reward as well, just adds that little bit on top as well. Kind of like how micro houses in Tycoon, if you get a micro house on a build, you get the free node slot. So if you put on to like a two thousand pound, uh, two thousand up X spark contract for a micro house, you'll get the one research schematic, but you'll also get the thousand up X worth of the node slot as well. So you're technically getting like eleven 1, hundred. 1150 upex back so it's only really costing you 850 upex to start like the micro house you know what i mean if you've got enough spark it kind of works out uh really good so yeah there's different ways to actually grow and other stuff in the game so 
yeah, looking forward to excited times ahead and just excited to see what happens with Spark as well. You know, if these airdrops are great. But then if Sparklet comes on the market and like these players, well, I've got a lot of Upex, a lot of Spark, and like a lot of players are worried about the Spark market going down. But like we will invest as much as we can, and especially going forward at the end of the year, if we can get four or five Spark for a thousand dollars, like we'll buy that up, and I'm sure a lot of other players will as well. So yeah, I believe in Upland, I believe in the growth, and I believe in the game as a whole. So yeah, this is just getting started. We're just at the beginning of this journey. So. Yeah, exciting times ahead, guys. Hope you're winning. Hope you're enjoying Upland. Give me a message on James UK on Upland or give me a message at Metaverse Milan on any of the other socials as well. Click that subscribe button if you're not already and I'll see you tomorrow for another video. Metaverse Milan, peace.